Welcome back guys. Now someone has posed the question, hey, could you put your videos in chronological order? And I say to them, yes and no. The way I have set up this walkthrough is I have two different timelines. One timeline is me exploring the Commonwealth. My second timeline is me doing the main quest. So if you're getting bored of me exploring the Commonwealth, you could always switch over to me doing the main quest and vice versa. So what I will do is I will make two playlists and put those playlists in order. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Because I like two different timelines. I love the Flashpoint Paradox. I love Crisis on Infinite Earths. I just like Nick? Different timelines. Oh God, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah. Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa, one case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat, make yourself comfortable. Don't mind if I do. Trying to find someone who's gone missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Anything else you remember? My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they... they just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders. Super mutants, the gunners, and of course there's the Institute. Who were the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. 
discarded prototype anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? The woman was dressed in, um... I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I... might have. I... Everything was foggy. Mm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. There's no way that could be Sean. Yeah, big difference between an infant and a 10-year-old, but that doesn't mean we're on the wrong track. He could have a son of his own. Or maybe he's turned kidnapping into a bad habit. In any event, they both vanished a while back. No trace. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. So, Valentine, you're a discarded prototype? Uh, let me ask you something outside, away from... Away from your assistant, okay? Man to man. Okay, or man to sin. As soon as I get out of here. So, what I wanted to ask you, uh, Nick. You know, do you got, um, the tools downstairs? Didn't want Ellie to hear this. Oh, never mind. Let's talk about it later. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Sounds like a very dangerous man. Don't like the name. He has the name of a cereal company, but I guess that what that makes him more badass. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. All right, I'm keeping an eye out like a hawk. Let me just turn my back here. Something to hide, Kellogg. Why don't you give it a try? I don't think Kellogg's hiding anything. No way. I just I think he this. doesn't like people breaking into his house. No luck? Guess we'll need to find the key. See that platform in the distance near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. I see a lot of crows. I wonder. The entrance of the city. The platform that should take you up. 
Let me just shoot that crow. So my theory was wrong. The crows do not give you money when you shoot them. Yeah, exactly like that. Oh well, I guess the developers couldn't have put that in. Copy copyright and whatnot. I think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey. Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's gonna be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Yeah, maybe you need to go to charm school there, Piper. Let me teach you how to talk to a Did you need help? To a person. Yes, I do need help. Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Just trust me. It's important. You have my word. Well, you do have an honest face, and it's not like there's anything important in an abandoned house. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this, but what the hell? Here you go, honey. Now, don't do anything in that place I wouldn't do. You see, guys? I have an honest face. Now give me your cash and your car keys because I have an honest face I wonder is the mayor that gullible too Piper did say he was banging her Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Hopefully a unique weapon like the Kellogg Bowl. There probably is a Kellogg Bowl in here. Place seems small to you. Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Uh, I don't know how big this house is, is supposed to be, Nick. But I just found a button under the table, so it might lead to a secret room. I don't know because I'm looting his house I right now. Desk. I found the button, so you don't need to keep telling me. Hey, look around. Is, my, is this house small? Don't worry, I got this. I'm just stealing his Something's duct tape right. and his corn. For anything out of fun fact is, switch. fun fact, guys, button. if you use a roll of duct tape and corn on a cob, you can make an explosive. All right, let's hit the button. Well, that's one way to find it. All right, let's see his secret sex dungeon. And this doesn't look like a secret sex dungeon at all. It just looks like a regular room with all of a Merc's favorite things. Oh, look, he has a he has a 
Tig Welder and some Nuka Cola Quantums. Or or a Spot Welder, excuse me. Spot Welder Spot Welder and a Jack. What are we supposed to be looking for, Nick? Cause I'm just stealing sodas and ramen noodle. Well, maybe not the ramen noodle. Those look kinda expired. It looks like I have a big spot of mold on top of them. But I'll take these Nuka cherries. Oh my god. I forgot to dump all my stuff at my house before I did anything. Dog meat! Dog meat, where are you? I need you to hold my stuff. Hold my cerveza, dog meat. And my pot, too. Hold my cerveza and my pot. Because I think the cops are coming. Gwinnett Stout Beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Mm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. What about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. I don't know. I might need your help on this one, but maybe I should go on my own. If you need me, just come knocking. If not, then the next time I see you, I hope it's with your son, safe and sound. But don't worry, guys. We will be cooperating with Nick Valentine's in a different timeline. If you're following that timeline, he will be accompanying us in future episodes. John, 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 spoiler! Alright, dog meat. Come here. I need you to hold my stuff. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. But, 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 before we, we do together, find Sean, I need you to come here for a minute. Dog meat. You're leaving me behind. I'm not as fast as you. You know, because I only got two legs and you got four. And you're not carrying a, carrying a ton of stuff. He's going to make me drop a couple things. But I love all my empty tin cans and half-drunken sodas. Why do I have to drop them? This game is so unfair. See? My aluminum cans. My... My junk collection. No! 